The Delta variant is now fueling more than 90% of the infections in the United States, but recently another variant has started getting some attention, the Lambda variant. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on what makes Lambda different and which variant has doctors more concerned. Health officials in Peru have launched round-the-clock vaccination centers to try to slow the spread of Lambda. Peru had the world's first cases of the variant late last year. Since then, Lambda has taken over and Peru's death rate has surged. The country now has the worst COVID mortality rate in the world. Lambda has spread across South America, appearing in at least 30 countries, including the U.S. The World Health Organization labeled it a variant of interest in June, one step below a variant of concern. The Lambda variant is the uh, son or daughter of the Gamma variant. UC San Diego virologist Dr. Davy Smith says the Lambda variant started as an offshoot of the P1 or Gamma variant originally found in Brazil. It evolved and it got some key mutations in it that probably make it more infectious and now it's outcompeted its uh, dad. Lambda has several mutations shared by other concerning variants, including one at position 452. That's the part of the virus that actually attaches to cells, making it stickier and more transmissible. Several variants have a mutation at this spot, but Lambda uses an amino acid that hasn't been seen here before. Studies out this month show this one mutation makes Lambda about twice as infectious as the original version of the virus and suggests that Lambda is likely more infectious than Gamma and Alpha. But how does it compare to Delta? In my gut sense, if Delta and Lambda went into a boxing ring, uh, Delta would probably win. UC San Francisco's Dr. Peter Chinhong says, just look at the map. Lambda dominates in South America, but it accounts for less than 1% of the sequences worldwide. Meantime, Delta is in a lot more countries and makes up more than 90% of the sequences. I'm much more worried about Delta and Lambda. He says South America's struggles with Lambda may have to do with low vaccination rates and their use of less effective vaccines from China. A new study showed the antibodies produced by the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines still neutralize Lambda well. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine showed drops in protection against both Lambda and Delta, but experts say that vaccine will still protect against severe disease. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. So far, there have been about 750 cases of Lambda here in the U.S. Dr. Smith said that most appear to be linked to travel from other countries.